We got a great question this week that I really, it hit home for me. A young woman wrote in and she said, am I promiscuous? Which means that she's having casual sex and liking it, right? Initiating, carrying her own birth control. Did doing, she say these things? Yes. Controlling her own clitoral stimulation. She said, am I liking sex because I have daddy issues? Oh boy. <laughs> First of all, who doesn't have daddy and mommy issues? Uh, we have parental issues because they've raised us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we all have something. But they never say that about men. They never say, oh, yeah, you know, he, he has a lot of indiscriminate sex and he goes to strip clubs and sex workers. He has mommy issues. Well, they might, but I doubt it. I doubt it. That's doubt what it. men do. Men are sexual. Well, this is, we're back to the double standard. Which we can't get away from. <laughs> we always come back to it. I know, but it's, we've got to get rid of it. It's that we're all sexual, men and women, boys and girls. We're all sexual. That's it's where we come from. We come from sex. And, of course, kind of our beginnings shape who we are sexually. Yes. But I'm really sick of them always taking women who are sexual and putting them in the victim role. We have to stop with this double standard business that, that women are a little sexual and men are always sexual. I think it's the direct opposite. We're actually We've more seen sexual. it in the workshops again and again. The women who say, I want to have sex with my husband, does it? Yeah. Yeah. I want to have more sex than my boyfriend does. Sorry, I just got to rearrange baby G for a minute. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm holding on to your pants here. <laughs> and you also see it with sex workers and adult performers. They always talk about how the female porn stars were sexually abused as kids or had this happen. They don't say that about the male talent. Well, you're, you're, once again, you're pointing up the whole thing that it's appropriate for a man to be sexual and it's inappropriate for a female to be sexual. Women should, should hold off sex. We should want a little bit, maybe. We, I mean, it's, it's only to get the ring, <laughs> only to make to your get partner happy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, to satisfy your your partner. Uh, it's it's pathetic. So, but I, I think where this comes from is that because we are more sexual, that they keep tamping down our sexuality to create the expectation. Because I remember well, as a to, young girl, to, they to, always uh, talk uh, about that to create a balance. <laughs> oh. Because women are so hypersexual, men are hyposexual. To create the balance, we shift. Exactly. The emphasis. We that shift. makes sense. Doesn't it make sense? It totally yeah. makes sense. So, therefore, all of the, this, this business about women are this and we're chaste and we're... And then we have to act out the role. We have All to, good girls always say no. And that creates a, a rape culture. Because yeah. the first time you initiate, she always says no. And you have to keep on pestering her and keep on working on her. Instead of her just saying, yeah. Let's go. I got some lube and a vibrator in my pocket. <laughs> well, wouldn't that scare the man half to death? He wouldn't be able to. Oh, it has. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it has. I'm ready. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Mary Jane Shurfee. I, I have to check her book out. That she wrote about this. That, that she she talked about the... the, um, the uh, the female being so much more sexual and so much more sexually interested and motivated and we can sustain it so much longer that it was like all of these social constrictions come in to try to make a balance. And it still isn't a balance because... No. <laughs> because... Because... because We're capable are, of multiple orgasms. We're endless. I mean, it's just... And men are trying to live up to being very sexual and... They're really not. My first threesome was with two men. And that made sense to me. And I never understood what was always two women and one guy. So it was like, one guy is never enough for one woman. Honey. Unless the women are going to play, then it makes sense. That's what ends up happening. Always, of course. Always. <laughs> and then the guy sits there and watches two women, which he doesn't mind. Well, I think that takes the pressure off, too. Yeah. Yeah. It does. So here we are with this insanity of hypersex for men, which is not true, no. and, and hyposex, less sex for women, which is not true. So I think what we're going to have to do is just fess up. We are more sexual than men, and that we're entitled to enjoy our bodies and our orgasms, and it's okay. Women, women should have more than one husband. We should have several. Yeah. 
and it's and <laughs> they reverse they reverse it. <laughs> I know, I know. That's what's so funny about it. So why don't we just get real? Women are sexual and even a little bit more sexual than men. Okay. <gasps>